Hi, my name is Sean. Um, I'm telling all about myself. I'm Sean Lasser, and I'm letting you know um, how long I've been painting and how long I've been drawing. Um, so I've been I've been picking up a a, a pencil. And what I was doing is, um, I, I go with shapes, and basically what shapes are is triangle, rectangle, um, circles, and squares. Um, and I, I want to show you that, I want to tell that, um, I was five years old when I picked up a, a pencil, and and I would uh, got a, a paper right in front of me with markers or pencils and all that. Then when I got to um, doing paintbrush doing paint I I thought it like my favorite thing is using uh, acrylic um, so things about um, acrylic they're really easy to dry and um, it does um, help that um, you you go, hmm, what to paint or what to draw. So, I got, I was doing abstract, right? Abstract. I was just throwing paint. I would just put the paint on the paintbrush and um, I would go, what the. And I kept on going to different colors. So what I was been doing is I've been sketching um, and I've been painting. And since then, um, I started I had my first easel. I had my first easel because. Um, it's really common and it does give you a lot of practice um, and what um, if you really want to get really good um, the the videos that I I have I did two videos and you can see that um, I took my time. I didn't go fast because every time you go fast, it um, it basically um, it it basically not to look good. You go too fast, it, it'll go ah. Oh. And um, if you take your time, it it's pretty good that you take your time and um, don't rush um, with pencils that I use is a HB pencil and what it HB pencil is um, it's good for um, sketching um, it's good for sketching, it's good for all kinds of things. Um, so, I was thinking that, um, I was thinking there's two, pe three pencils that I sometimes use. If I didn't have an H, if I didn't have a, a HB, I would, um, 
I would um, get um, H. So that'd be a hard pencil. Um, you would want to make sure that when you're doing the painting on a canvas, um, that you'd have to um, cover with white, right? And when your paint is wet, make sure make sure you have a, like a spray bottle and spray your paint because sometimes when I was out, I'm outside and you're trying to get a color but it dries up quickly so um, what it means is um, you gotta have a water bottle a, a water spray that it does this the miss so um, I sort of thought that if I was good at landscapes I um, I do something new so um, for starters like you guys is um, for starters is one want you um, use the pencil on the canvas but you gotta be very very light so it would be easy um, to um, it'd be easy to um, paint um, if you guys ever heard color matching um, that means um, if you need to find a color that um, that you have to mix there's I I think you can get them I think you can get them anywhere the color Mitch um, paper not paper it it's a windmill so it's a paint wheel and so basically is um, it, it basically tells you what colors to mix um, how you get that color um, so the only thing primary colors right black white um, black white and I can't remember the the rest but I know that um, people um, said that um, it's very hard to um, it's very hard to figure out how I do these paintings and how I l lift it up the the canvas. Um, I enjoyed it. I I do. Um, I get a, a lot of um, emails or that, and and I go, holy cow! Look at all these um, things about me, and. I'm here to tell you it it doesn't make a difference um, that you're good or you're practicing or you're really good but it it doesn't mean like you have to be perfect um, you could be perfect at um, doing a mountain um you can be perfect 
doing oceans and all that. But I'm here to tell you that um, I'm a special artist that I'm a special artist, special needs, and and I I I make people happy and a film art is um you do um, when you sketch and draw you want to make sure your racer your racer is not dirty so the way that I um the way that I do that is um I took it just a, a sheet of paper, any paper, um, long sits, um, strong or something, and I would, um, I just take the racer and, um, race it on the piece of paper, and that's the, that's the way to clean your racer. So, with paint brushes. I loosely, when I'm done uh, um, painting my landscape, that I always did, um, that I always thought if you use soap, any kind of soap, this soap, um, do not use any kind of chemicals. Um, this use regular dish soap and all you're gonna do is for 10 I have a brush and I I wanted to clean this brush really really good so I would take the paintbrush and I would just put soap on the brush and just, just rub it of the bristles, the bristles, bristles. Just rub it. Keep on running. You'll you'll see all kinds of paint coming out of the brush. Um. So another thing is, um, that you'll you'll learn a lot about me and. I do sell my paintings, um, and it's a good price, and I just want to let you know this, um, this is going to be really good if you guys, if you guys liked me or, or something, I'd be the best one. Um, that you guys need help with. So, what I'm thinking is, I, I know you've been watching um, a couple of my um, videos, and it was, it was only two. Now this is my third one. This third one I was doing is talking about myself. So. I was five years old when I picked up a pencil and I did I I just love it I I never thought to stop drawing um, you always got to be calm when you're painting or sketching um, so when you're painting and sketching, it's uh, it's it's going to help you a lot. So if you were gonna, let's say you were gonna, you want to do a landscape, right? So sketching or sketching or paintings of landscapes. So what you would type in is um. Uh, acrylic landscapes 
then you'll see hundreds of different landscapes and I saw one um, I do have um, two books of Bob Ross and I'm the second Bob Ross and I've been learning off of him I've been learning off of Bob Ross and I go damn I'm getting good so here I am is I hey I've been painting for a very long time and I've been sketching a long time um, my next video um, that I'll be doing next is doing um, portraits so I be this I be thinking in my mind I go I I do like any kind of portraits doesn't have to be anybody it can be like a picture in a magazine or a picture that you get at a, a library portrait book all those things um, that you can use and you can do is um, but there's one thing that I didn't tell you guys is shading pencils so shading pencils are would be like um, it would um, help you uh, a lot um, you'll you'll get to get the details in there and all that um, if you're if you're painting and you made a mistake um, if it's a small mistake that you can fix it it's it's probably all away it's um happy little accidents um that's what i learned and i would i would um go i could fix that i just added in a tree or or if it's a a big mistake that i can't fix it I just painted the whole canvas all the way and I just go oh, okay we could do that we could paint the whole canvas um, I'm, I'm thinking if you're gonna do the Norn lights or or daytime painting. Let's say if you're going to do the northern lights, you should always prime your canvas white. So, because the white soaks into your canvas, if you didn't use white first, um, you're gonna will need a lot, lot of blue you would need a, a a lot of black I mean and um, so what I am um, what I was doing was I did the northern lights I know you guys seen my northern lights painting and I guess you guys um, think I want to buy that and um, I see people um, they go on the internet or Wi-Fi and people loosely ask me uh, not all the time 
there's people who wants it being joy of doing this art, doing this painting, and all this. Um, but I'm going to tell you this. There's no way that anybody's perfect, right? But do the best that you can. Do the best that you can, and you you would you would love what it comes out, and it'll bear you when it's all done. When all the painting's all done, that you can um you go wow that is amazing. Um, that's what a lot of people say to me that um, I'm way good at um, doing nature and landscapes. That was always my thing, but um, sometimes I get bored at doing landscapes. So I get into portraits and and portraits are a lot more hard, harder than um, doing landscapes. So it it tells you that um, hmm, how do we do that? And and I just sat there and sat there and figure out what to do in the middle of painting in in the middle of the painting um so I when I was going to paint something I loosely look at a photograph until I I get used to um, doing that. So I'm just gonna tell you this: if you want to learn more about me, like um, painting and and drawing, my next tutorial is gonna be um, drawing portraits. Um, I I hope you love this tutorial and I hope you have lots of fun um, doing this painting and doing this um, sitting down and listen how I was doing and enjoy and I'm glad to help you guys. Bye.